Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In this demonstration, we would watch how could you set up a modal analysis using ANSI's APDL. Open the ANSI's APDL. Click on Preferences, select Structural, and click on OK. Now first we would select the element type. For this, we need to open the preprocessor. Then element type. And click on add editor delete. Click on add. Select the solid element 8 node 185, as we are going to mesh a 3D solid body. Now we would create the geometry. For this go to modeling, click on create. Click on volume, select the block, and select by two corner. Enter the dimension of the geometry. Then click on OK. This is our required cantilever beam 3D geometry. Now we would input the material properties to the solid geometry. For this go to material properties and select material models. Select structural, then select linear, elastic, and isotropic. Enter the Young's modulus in X. Enter the Poisson's ratio in PRXY. Click on OK. Now we need to enter the material density. Click on density. Enter the material density. Click on OK. Close the material properties window. Now we would mesh this geometry. Click on meshing and select mesh tool. Click on global set to put the element sizes. Go to the mesh shape option and select the hex option for all hexahedral cells. And keep the mapped option. Now after setting up click on the mesh. Now select the geometry and click on OK. The solid body is now completely meshed. Now go to the solution option to define the boundary conditions. Click on analysis type, select new analysis. Select modal option, then click on OK. Click on the analysis options. Enter the number of modes to extract. In this analysis I am going to extract 4 mode shapes, so let's put here 4. Then click on OK. Now we would put a fixed boundary condition to one of the ends of the solid body. For this, click on Define Load, Apply, and select Structural, Displacement on areas. Click on the end surface. Click on OK. Put all the degrees of freedom as zero and click on OK. Now we would proceed to solve this. For this, click on solve and select current LS. Click on OK. The solution is complete. Now is the time to see the result outcomes of these calculations. For this go to the general post processing. Click on the result summary. It would show the results for all four solution sets. These are natural frequencies of the four modal shapes. Now go to read the results, and click on the first set to see the results of the first modal shape. Go to plot control. Select animate. And select mode shape. Click on OK. A 
Adjust the slider to speed up or slow down the animation. Similarly, click on the next set of solutions to see the second modal shape variation. Click again on the next set to see the third modal shape. Click on the next set to see the fourth modal shape variation. Let's watch all the modal shape variations at a time. We can now see the difference. Each modal shape has a different type of dynamic shape. It occurs due to the different types of natural frequencies. By doing such modal analysis we can know how a system would respond to various types of dynamic input. By knowing the natural frequencies of the component, we can design accordingly so that we can avoid the resonance and thus prevent failure. Save the solution and close the file. With this let's conclude the demonstration. Please hit the like, subscribe to our channel. For any suggestions or queries please ask in the comment or email us. Thank you. Keep learning and keep exploring.